Hello everybody. In this video I will teach you how to graph the quadratic function. You need to know first that we have three forms of the quadratic function. In all of them to graph you need first to identify the vertex which consists of the axis of symmetry for the x and minimum or maximum for the y because the vertex is a point from this point we can divide the graph in two halves by the axis of symmetry and this is the minimum if the graph is up and downwards when it's negative this is the vertex the maximum and the axis of symmetry so first to graph you need to identify the axis of symmetry we said that we have three forms the first one we call it the standard form ax squared f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c do you remember how to find the axis of symmetry so our our first step is by finding the axis of symmetry we will divide the solution in some steps step number one what is the axis of symmetry step number two you will make a table for the values three use the calculator number four is the graph so try to remember uh, this method this will help you a lot to graph the quadratic function let's start with the first example y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 7 so for this example a equals 2 b equals negative 8 and c equals negative positive 7 first what's the axis of symmetry this is your first question the axis of symmetry in the standard form is negative b over 2a you have to remember this which is negative negative 8 so we switch the sign of the b over 2 times our 2 in this example is 2 so this is 8 over 4 the answer is 2 now we have finished the first step the second step is by creating a table, design a table with five values with five values of x and five values of y. In the middle, you would put your answer, this answer, you would put your axis here, so your answer would be here. So you understand this that the, the axis should divide the graph in two halves. So if you need to, to know the right half or the, or the left half, you have to move two units right, at least two units right and two units left. So you can go after two, three, then four, before two is one and zero. Why do we need five values? Because if you have the vertex and two units to right, two units to left, you will have your graph so you need five points you have to start according to the axis of symmetry then go right two units depending on this axis and two units to the left this is number two number three use the calculator by mode tables in your calculator could be seven could be five could be three in some old versions so you have to follow the menu of the calculator you press mode let me show you my calculator <clears throat> my calculator when I press mode this will give me a menu but in your calculator you have to press the number corresponding the, to the table now your calculator will ask you what's the function that you want to do this function so 2 this is the x can you write this x in the calculator by writing by pressing alpha x then squared minus 8 x plus 7 the calculator will then ask you about the start the first value is the start 
and this is the end the start is zero yes press equal because our start is zero if it's something else you can press for example five or two or three plus zero then press equal to go next the end is four yes the step is one because we go one with each step press equal the calculator will show you the value seven with zero one with one negative one with two one again and seven can you see that there is a symmetry for these values because this is the axis of symmetry so divide the graph into equal halves <clears throat> now you go to the graph use the ruler to divide the coordinates first of all when you consider this origin it it's the origin of the graph when you go one step to the right one you have to go one step to right two three four and so on negative one first step negative two negative three negative four negative five okay <clears throat> one two three four some students miss this box and write negative one here actually you when you leave one box for each unit one box for each unit you cannot leave two unit two boxes for one unit so you should write negative one here negative two negative three negative four and so on zero and seven five six seven this is the first point one and one two and negative one and you can expect that this is the axis of symmetry so this answer should have a corresponding here which is three and one can you make sure yes this three and one then four and seven four four sorry and seven is here now you can graph this quadratic function <clears throat> can you use something clear here did you notice that this 7 was plotted exactly here because in the standard form I can get the y intercept from the, gra from the question okay so the standard form shows you the uh, the y intercept the second one if you have a graph in the second form which is vertex form number two f of x equals a x minus h squared plus k for example y equals negative negative two x plus 5 squared minus 4 you have to follow same steps what's the axis of symmetry design a table calculate by the calculator then graph what's the axis of symmetry in the vertex form it's very easy because you can take this by the opposite value this is the axis of symmetry in the vertex form okay we take what's inside the bracket with the opposite sign so design the table x and y put the negative 5 then go two steps right two steps left negative 4 negative 3 negative 6 negative 7 now by the calculator f of x is negative 2 bracket x plus 5 squared minus 4 the start is negative 7 the end is, is negative 3 <coughs> the step is 1 negative 12 negative 6 negative 4 negative 6 and negative 12 then you go to the graph and 
plot the points then connect them you have to graph another x and y coordinates but to, 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 to save time for me in this video I will use the same graph so it's negative 7 and negative 12 negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8 negative 9, negative 10 negative 11, negative 12 by the way you can use 2, 4, 6, 8 and so on so you can double the, the, the steps while you, while you are moving so negative 7 would negative 7 here negative 12 this is the first point negative 6 and negative 6 the vertex is negative 5 and negative 4 sorry okay and negative 4 will be with negative 6 and negative 3 and negative 12 negative 3 and negative 12 so the vertex is this point from the table it's this point negative 5 and negative 4 this is the vertex and this is the maximum minimum in our case this is maximum and this is axis of symmetry the last type if we have x intercept form y equals a x minus p x minus q for example y equals x plus 5 x plus 1 do you remember the first step finding the axis of symmetry the axis of symmetry in our case by taking what's inside the two brackets with the opposite sign add over 2 because it's clear that we can get the x-intercept from this form that's why it's called the x-intercept so the axis of symmetry should be between them so that's why we divide by 2 so in your table you have to put the 2 in, in the middle 2 steps right, 3 and 4 2 steps left, sorry this is negative 2 uh, when you calculate it correct, better than me you are a good student negative 5, 1 minus 1, negative 6, divided 2, negative 3 negative 3 negative 2 negative 1 negative 4 and negative 5 this is x and this is y by the calculator write this bracket x minus plus 5 bracket x plus 1 sorry the start is negative 5 the end is negative 1 the step is 1 I will teach you how to change the step negative 5 was 0 negative 4 was negative 3 negative 3 and negative 4 negative 3 and 0 you can go to graph same by the same idea <clears throat> okay uh, I think you have you, we need to graph this because in the first one we saw that this is the x inter this is the y intercept and you can know it before you graph in the second one negative 5 and negative 4 is the vertex and you can see that this this is exactly the vertex from the question without graphing you can know the vertex in the x intercept you can know negative 5 and 0, negative 1 and 0, negative 4 and negative 3, negative 4 and negative 3, negative 2 and negative 3, negative 3 and negative 4. So you can see that negative 5 and negative 1, you can, you can know by taking the opposite values negative 5 and negative 1 are the x intercepts of the graph you can know that they will the graph will intersect with the x axis at these two points from the graph from the beginning before you you finish the graph you can know this
this is everything but if you want to know when to change the steps I can give you an, a different example when to change the steps y equal or f of x equal half x squared plus 6x plus 18 so in this example the axis negative b which is negative 6 over 2 times a what's a it's half then this is negative 6 over 2 times half which is 1 so the axis will be at negative 6 design the table then put negative 6 now before you go two steps right two steps left we usually add one or subtract one but can you see this fraction if the denominator is two you have to add two and subtract two so this would be negative four negative two negative eight negative ten if this was three you have to add three and subtract three so we change the steps as the denominator of a as a fraction again we change the steps we make the steps like exactly the denominator of the value of a so this is the start this is the end and this is the axis of symmetry this is negative 10 and negative 2 so with the step with, uh, with the step with the when he asks you about the steps you have to write 2 this will avoid the decimal points but if you didn't do if you keep the steps as one 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 it's okay okay but sometimes you will have decimals and fractions but to do the step like the denominator this will avoid getting decimal numbers in the graph so if it's one over three x squared plus five x minus seven plus seven for example the steps will be three because we follow this denominator thank you for watching